Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins Governance Board meeting. It's March the 9th, 2022. Thanks for being here. Today's agenda, we've got news, a uh, report on the press contact email alias, an open question on the Ukraine invasion by Russia and how that impacts the Jenkins project. Then um, CDF community award nominations are now open. CDCon and Jenkins Contributor Summit on site in Austin, Texas in June. Jenkins is the way site replacement. Any other topics? Uh, no. Okay, then let's go ahead. So by way of news, this week there was a new weekly released with several icon and image fixes. Uh, and it wasn't specifically the 335. It, so the, uh, the UI improvements are continuing. We're really grateful to Jan Ferracic, to Alexander Brandes, to Tim Jacom, to Daniel Beck, and to so many others who are working on those. Jenkins LTS 2.332.1 released today. And that release includes a number of UI improvements. What for me feels like sort of a phase one of the things that are happening in weekly now as to leading us towards phase two in June. It looks better, it feels better, and it's, it's running quite well. I've got it running and it's running on ci.jenkins.io. We've also been accepted as Google, in Google Summer of Code 2022. And we've now got five prior students as mentors. And it looks like we may have six or seven with potentially as many as nine additional mentors. We'd love to have more mentors. We're interested in mentors helping and we're looking forward to good project proposals from the, the candidates and reviewing those. What does being accepted actually mean? Accepted means we were one of 200 some open source projects that have been accepted into the program, but we don't yet have assigned the number of slots that will be allocated. Okay. So the slot allocation comes later after, after Google sees proposals and we have a chance to evaluate proposals, et cetera. Okay, so we submit proposals they review proposals and then they pick, essentially they say you get three, three slots based on the proposals you submitted. They don't choose the proposals, but they do, you know, based on how, well, how many you get based on what you submit. I, that's, that's my understanding is okay. that what we're, the phase we're in now is the program. We've, we've been selected as an open source program, but our yep. slot count has not been determined. And okay, cool. slot count will be determined based on later, later things. So yeah, so we're it's it's actually quite exciting to see how much traffic there is in the Gitter channel yeah. for Google Summer of Code, right? I mean, there's just a flurry of lots of activity for Google Summer of Code there. Is do we guaranteed now to have one slot for sure? Uh, I I believe so, okay. unless we unless we made some terrible mistake. Yeah, I think they would assure us at least one slot. Okay, well that's good to know. So that's I just wanted to make sure I understood where you know our what our acceptance and application meant. So it's good to know. Great. Thanks. So then, press contact email alias. Uh, Gavin, you want to give us a current status there? Uh, this current status is no status. Uh, okay. I did the investigation. I we wrote up notes last time. Um, there is some movement in infra, but none of us have been pushing very hard for it, so it just hasn't got done. Okay. What if we just uh, use a Jenkins governing board and so be it for now? Maybe, yeah. I mean, that's totally an option as well. It's just there's been no uh, push to get any movement on it, so I've just been leaving it alone. I, and I think, I think low velocity of change on this is not a big deal, yeah. right? That, that it'll wait. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next one, Ukraine, Ukraine, Russia, and the Jenkins project. So I brought this because, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I just wanted to say that I was about uh, responding to the governing board thread. Actually, I wrote a mail, something like one page, and uh, then uh, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, clearly I didn't send it. You sent it to me. You sent it to only oh. me. Or oh, maybe you could uh, paste it to the main chat. I can I can totally do that. I just didn't want to do that when you you labeled it as private message to Gavin, and I'm like not sharing that. Okay, if you could forward me, yeah. I will uh, send it properly. Yeah, actually, I, I have an even bigger email already ready, so maybe I'll merge them somehow. 
Yeah. Well, that one isn't actually that big, uh, the one I sent. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, it's something we need to discuss. Okay. Well, and, and so, so let me ask a, an sort of an opening question. Should we continue the discussions in the board email so that it's it's private rather than hosting it here? We note that there's a there's a pattern that at least one organization with which we're associated, CDF has done something, but I'm not sure I'm ready here to declare what we should do exactly. I think, Oleg, if you've got more insights, uh, I would love to do those conversations privately first and then bring it to a future board meeting. Uh, I think it actually makes sense to move it to the developer mailing list. Okay. This is first. Secondly, when we move it, uh, we should be explicit about code of conduct uh, because it's important in this discussion. And yet, taking the request, I can ask not to ban all Russians uh, from uh, yeah. Jenkins. Right. Uh, well, uh, it's. Uh, I believe this is non-starter. Uh, yeah, I understand that there are some radical requests. Uh, but yeah, I guess we understand what is the situation in Russia now. Uh, uh, so but yeah, I'm going to jump in there. I'm just going to throw in if we can add a note when Mark's done typing. Uh, code of conduct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I so I just think we just for sake of you know recording it, this discussion started because we got a mass email saying we should uh, ban Russians from the Jenkins project, and I think we're unanimous in saying no, we're not going to do that. I think we can safely go there. Uh, the really discussion becomes how much other involvement do we want to do? And whether, where, and how we discuss that. Uh, I kind of feel like this is a decent forum, but I'm perfectly happy to do it privately in email or dev list or something like that later. I would be okay with uh, batting Russian.gov if they had a public IP range, but I don't think they do. Yeah, and I also don't um, want to spend time doing that. Well, uh, we are not going to do that because I currently believe it would be counterproductive. Yes, apart from uh, me being Russian. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, going back uh, to the original question, we need to discuss. So when uh, CDF made a public announcement, it was discussed in the governing board. So it was signed off. Let's say there are different opinions about the messaging, but overall it was approved. Uh, so I think we can do the same uh, in the Jenkins uh, developer mailing list because I know Jenkins contributors in Ukraine, uh, in Russia, who are in harm's way. So making a message about supporting contributors and yeah. uh, saying that everyone, well, basically what I sent to Gavin, this is what we could do. Um, yeah, maybe also I wouldn't mind if we decided to change the logo, etc. Actually, I created a Ukraine version of Captain Logo. It's also a discussion in our project there right now. Uh, but yeah, so something like that. Uh, yeah, there is a logo post vaccine in Nashua. I'm not sure whether you saw that. I posted an advocacy and outreach. Uh, so, uh, well, I'm not sure we, whether we should use this logo. I wouldn't mind, but it's a separate topic. Uh, yeah, but yeah, whatever. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, I think we need to have a public discussion on that because it would be awkward if uh, the governing board uh, made a decision on that. We could align internally, but I think that uh, our alignment would be that it make, makes sense to make some message. Let's uh, talk widely. So why don't we just talk widely? Yeah, I think, I think we can, as Mark already said, we safely say, no, we're not banning. And yes, I don't see, I didn't, no one on the mail list expressed uh an opinion against speaking out a public um mm -hmm. i gotta make sure i phrase this right um uh, not support per se but like um hoping for the best you know we don't want to we're not going to do anything that we can cause trouble and yeah, i'm not good at just... words 
Yeah, of course, uh, Ukraine uh, should be highlighted taking the situation. Uh, I would uh, also humbly ask uh, to add Belarus and Russia to the same message uh, because uh, the situation there is also quite dire. Uh, yeah, people are not dying, but uh, regarding freedoms, etc., it's a separate topic. So I would. Uh, if we do that, uh, yeah, it uh, should be more or less balanced. Yeah, that is my concern, is if we do one thing, we're going to get, you know, issues for not doing enough. Well, uh, they won't be all, uh, always, there will be someone who is not happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there might be public shaming that we do not uh, make a public stance. Uh, well, like some companies did uh, without finger pointing, uh, um, uh, we can get uh, shaming. Uh, uh, well, we can uh, post something; uh, it may come across uh, differently. Well, I was quite vocal, so I won't even mention uh, how what is the range of private messages I got. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, if it's a community consensus, I think we should uh, do something. Um, yeah. So, Mark, you haven't said anything yet, and I don't want to dominate. You're muted, by the way. I recommend I recommend exactly what you've suggested. Let's take the discussion to the public mailing list. Mm -hmm. Let's express strong support for Ukraine and for the loss of freedom to people in Belarus and Russia. I, I, very, very real, all of them. Absolutely. I, I'm all in favor of what you suggested. Both of you, thanks. Uh, so Oleg, is that one you want to carry that message given that you've got a, a text, a message body already prepped or the, the danger is I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I think as well suited to phrasing those kind of things. I'm happy to do it if it will help. I can uh, give it a try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely not today, but tomorrow I will try to find some time. So if I were to put it this week, is that okay, Oleg? Yeah. Great. Uh, okay. Well, you know how the expectations work in open source. So yeah. absolutely, there's <laughs> no there is no commitment, and uh, we yeah. do the best we can with the time we've got. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Excellent. So for that, uh, yeah, so far I haven't seen any code of conduct violations uh, regarding this topic in public channels. Mm -hmm. And this is good. Uh, but yeah, I think it's something we should keep an eye on. Uh, and I haven't seen any, any spam or otherwise aggressive behaviors in any of the places that I'm watching, you know, not in, not on issues, not on, GitHub repositories. So I'm not aware of any bad behavior towards the project from, from anyone as a result of this. Yeah. And this is a good sign. It is. Yeah. All right, anything else on that topic before we move on to the next? I think no. Okay, so okay, next then. topic. Oh. Gavin, anything from you? No, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. Okay, great. So next topic was the CDF Community Awards nominations are now open. They will be announced at CDCon 2022. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Roxanne Jonkas, or Jonkas asked, um, asked if we could post a Jumbotron post and a blog post similar to what we did last year to promote them on Jenkins.io. Given that the board approves placements on the Jumbotron, are you are the two of you okay with this being promoted this year, just like it was last year? No objections. I'll admit I have no idea what's there right now. Uh, well, right now there's there's only uh, the Jumbotron has only two items, so these would be so we would be adding to it, not replacing. Exactly, it. not a replacement. Then I have no yeah. additions to it. Yeah, uh, I would say that uh, last year it was quite helpful because the nominations were in public, so it was an opportunity to celebrate some contributions, uh, do some highlights, etc. So I would definitely support that. Mm -hmm. and, and I agree. I 
I admit last year's nomination process, I found a little bit scary initially because it was public. I'm used to nominations being private where I can say things, but without worrying about supporting them with evidence, et cetera. But when I did the public nominations last year, it was, I'm going to support these with evidence. And, and they were a lot better nomination because of what I did. So, so I, I admit I, I'm a fan of the public nomination process, even though it was a little nerve wracking for me initially. Okay. Great. All right, so I've got the action item to do that. I hope to do it before end of this week, possibly early next week. But you're off next week. I, that's why, That's why. well, I just got word that my, one of my granddaughters has, is positive with COVID-19. <gasps> so I may not be visiting her. <gasps> Yeah, sure. she's just yeah. little she'll be fine but but and she's got brilliant parents but nonetheless it's not a great thing right and and no. me going in is not a great thing so next topic um, cdcon 2022 and there's a jenkins contributor summit that we would like to do there uh Alyssa mm -hmm. tong john mark messen and i will plan to coordinate that thing I'll be physically located in, in Austin at that event, and we'll do it as a, a local presentation, not with Zoom, not attempting to do remote. We're going to do a local contributor summit on site. Uh, I think it would be good if it could be, along with CDCon, put on the Jumbotron. Is it okay with the board if we do like we did last year and put CDCon on the Jumbotron as well? So one for CD. Con one for Jenkins Computer Contributor Summit, right? And this this the CD Con one I think is easy to do because it's ready. the The Contributor Summit we need more plans before we can put it on the on the on the jumbotron. So for me, this one is CD Con. I think is ready to go almost immediately. Whereas the Contributor Summit, I think we need more information, and we may need several weeks before we're ready to put it on the jumbotron. I have no objections. But I will also say my knowledge of carousels, after the first slide, they become super ineffective. So well, and, and and that's why I think we would want to put community awards as position number one, and then maybe we rotate uh contribute CDCon into position number one. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm just like if we add three more things for a total of five, that's a lot. And your the, the later ones will get very little eyes. Ah, oh, got it. Okay. Oleg, are you okay with the idea of CDCon as the conference on the Jumbotron? Uh, yes. So personally, I would rather make one Jumbotron, uh, one oh. Jumbotron for both events. So basically Jenkins Contributor Summit and CDCon uh, in Austin, because actually it would be a better message. Uh, Good. We can uh, extend the, the uh, agenda incrementally, but in principle, no objections. I, I like that. I think that's a good that's a good focusing on the fact that it is a lo, is a physically located event. It's an on site event. So by making it a single entry, good. All right. Thanks. Okay. Anything else on that topic before we go on to the next? Um, yeah, just a few updates. So first of all, um, yeah, I can confirm that I will not be able to go there in person. So taking uh, all the events is just uh, almost impossible to get visa. I mean, I also need to renew passport. Uh, and uh, yeah, currently the US consulate doesn't really accept visa applications from Russians. So yeah, I'm kind of screwed. Um, on other th uh, matters, uh, I have a pending application for uh, Jenkins 2022 and beyond uh, for CDCon. We had a discussion uh, with uh, the CDF team, and we agreed that we would keep the application. But uh, since I'm unable to go, if it's accepted, I will be looking for a backup speaker. Um, who would be willing to present that. So. Okay, and I will physically be there. If you don't mind me being the, being the voice, I'm, I'm willing. And Alyssa Tong and I were just talking about possibly pairing on something 
as a talk. So if you want two of us, you could you could yep. consider it either either um, me or me and Alyssa or others. Okay, so let's discuss. But uh, yeah, in such case, I can uh, stay as a speaker uh, because I already have content, etc. After my failed FOSDOM talk, uh, so yeah, we can. Well, some uh, I guess it would be you presenting, but I'm definitely happy to provide uh, all assistance uh, in the background. Yeah, that, and that that sounds like a great a great mix mm. for me. If you're yeah. willing to, to help with content, I'm more than happy to be the talking head and give my inputs on content. Well, it's not talking head. You have a lot of opinions on Jenkins. So, uh, we make it. Are you going to? No, I, I don't even visit my city, let alone leave the country. So no, I won't be at City Call. Okay. Well, um, and for you, it's an international trip, right? It Gavin, would also I mean, be international, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. Um, could we put an animated uh, Oleg GIF on each slide so that would be like a Oleg talking head? I will say you worse. Uh, I was accepted uh, to Devox France to make a talk in French. So that's a, not a no. <laughs> you all heard that. It's not a no. <laughs> well, uh, we have a plan B because yeah, I wanted to study French, but again, taking the recent events, uh, I wouldn't like to commit on that, uh, but uh, we already have plan B in place. So I'm we'll be doing a talk together with my colleague. That's that's great. I I I was accepted at an Italian conference to present in Italian, but I got there and asked them in Italian if they would prefer to hear me in English or Italian, and they said, "Oh, go English, please." They obviously heard my my butchering of their language and was, realized, was you know, we'll word, understand it better if he does it in English. Was your first word? Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, they were very polite. They, they're always polite with my poor language. That's excellent. Thank you. Good. Congratulations on being accepted to speak. Well, you, de you definitely, so Italian people are polite about Italian language. At least to me, they have been. They've always been very kind okay. about when, when I just do terrible things to their language, they're still very merciful. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Anything else on CDCon 2022? No. Okay, next topic then. Uh, Gavin, Jenkins is the way replacement site. Oh, I just muted instead of unmuted. Uh, I haven't actually got very much done here. I started, I set up a scaffolding. We're going to use Gatsby because I know it really well. Um, and we use it for plugin site. So it's not new tech for the, for the project. Um, I do want to have a chat with you later, Mark. Um, I kind of really want to try MDX. I don't know if you looked at it before. But it's marked down with uh, HTML or with um, components, so I think Markdown has a less of a barrier to entry than ASCII docs. So I like to uh, pick your brain about it if you get a minute at some point. Um, yeah, but I think it's relatively straightforward. I just got to do it. I did see the infra signed off on putting it in and Netlify, and I have access, so I could do all the rest of the work. So I'll just hopefully plow through it next week. Excellent. Well, and, and MDX sounds interesting. Markdown is certainly more approachable for the people who will tend to contribute to this site, yeah. right? Telling somebody who they want to submit their own Jenkins is the way story. Oh, you need to learn ASCII doc. If they're, since they're on GitHub, they've already got some experience with Markdown. Yeah. So, so like I said, I'd like to pick your brain, just like show off and you can give me some feedback on it, but I'm pretty big fan of it. So great. And because I originally did this as scripted, like I, I took all the, the WordPress dump and then I scripted it into conversions and HTML and all the other stuff. It's not relatively large switch to switching to a new site because it's already scripted and just runs through the script, the pipeline anyways. So, so really, I think we'll have something demoable next week. Excellent. Thank you. Depends Thanks. on stuff. Super. So, um, I, again, I, I have to forewarn next week. I probably won't be in Doc's office hours. Yeah. Because because if I'm lucky, oh, I definitely be won't be. I have a uh, Strata meetings next week, so I won't be anywhere in Doc's for the next week. But I might have Got something it. I can uh, async send off to take a look at. I see. Okay. Any other topics we need to bring to this session today? Mm, I have nothing else. Uh, there was nothing really on the farms in the last couple of weeks that I want to talk about. Uh, oh, uh, there was one mail in this post about new font. 
do we care oh, about yes, bringing that up? Yes. New font question from yes. So font and logo type basically from uh, that's thank you for thank you for bringing that. I should have had that one on the list because it certainly is a governance board question. Um, from it was from no, Basil I'm, Crow. I'm going to search Windows and just read off a few things. You can see if anything else we want to discuss. Uh, okay. Outage with Artifactory font, uh, contributor summit, uh, translations, uh, DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster. Yeah, that's the, really the topics from the, between now and the last week. Oh, and the follow up on versions. So I don't know if any of those we want to talk about. Yeah, I'm not ready for versions follow up and nope. DigitalOcean K Kubernetes cluster. We're running actually a little hot there in terms of cost and in terms of what we're burning. So that's good. We're using we're using the resource, yeah. and we saw um, Damien showed a graph showing in the infra meeting showing a visible reduction in AWS cost at the exact time we brought online DigitalOcean. So nice positive. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I just went screw look look into the mail list. So I don't think we have anything to discuss about them yet. So okay. Great. Then I'd propose let's call an end to this session. I'll post the recording. I hope within the next 24 hours I'm badly behind on getting the recordings posted. Uh, can I steal you after the recording's done to go over MDX? Absolutely. Yes, that'd be great. Okay, I'll stop the share, stop the recording.